Welcome back. Dale Myers with Vision Advanced and Vision Shaper Consulting. This video, we're talking about substitute goods examples, specifically some lessons learned while trying to get lunch. Um, now, we all have competitors. And this is for you if you own a business, you're a manager or you're involved in marketing, but it's someone that's involved in, uh, in a business of some shape or form. And uh, we know that we have competitors, direct and indirect. Substitute goods are just something that literally they could substitute your product or service for something else, right? We all have direct competitors. Uh, and we, and, and a classic example, Coke and Pepsi, right? So why are we having this discussion? At lunch, two days in a row, I was trying to go get something and then the lines were ridiculous. Now, I hadn't during this COVID thing, I hadn't been eating out too much. Um, but lately I've been really wanting some Popeye's chicken or some Chick-fil-A. And I went up the street and the Chick-fil-A had lines, like they were double lines, right? Two lines wrapped around the whole building. And I went like 1130. I came back around 130. It was the same thing. Okay. So that was the first day. Second day came back, exact same thing. Went up the street, Popeye's. They only had one line. Same thing. It was coming out, blocking up the street. So, obviously, I wanted either Chick-fil-A or Popeye's. I settled on Burger King. Nothing wrong with Burger King, but it just wasn't that it wasn't my thing, right? I wanted some chicken. Um, why did I choose that? It wasn't about price. See, normally when we think about substitute goods, people tend to think about people switch because of price, right? But that's not necessarily true. In this case, why did I switch? Because Burger King had a shorter line. They they got me in quicker. Now, even though I work for myself, I got better things to do than sit in line waiting on uh, f fast food for 15, 20 minutes. So that got me to thinking like, wow, again, I know they're direct competitors, but literally in this case, the only reason I went to Burger King was because I couldn't get what I really wanted. So they, it's almost like they forced me to their competitor. And it got me to thinking about my business like, well, what? And this is the lesson very quickly. And we're going to wrap this up. What's going on in my business that might be inconveniencing my customers that I'm literally making it easy for them to go to someone, someone else? And I started and immediately came to my mind with some uh, payment gateway issues. And uh, so I'm going to be addressing that because that's something that I know it's not as convenient as I would like it to, specifically if you're trying to uh, purchase multiple items at once. So, yeah, I need to get on top of that. But the reality of it is, and, and so, again, we know that we have competitors. There's nothing brand new. But why? Don't just think that you're always like it's going to be Coke or Pepsi or McDonald's or something else. Sometimes, no, no, no. There could be other reasons, like in this case, time. There was something else driving me. So think about it in your business right now. What are some things that could be just up underneath the surface, but that could be aggravating your customers or potential customers, and that would give them a reason to choose someone over you? What you might find out is that if you address this issue, like um, two other things, one other thing I'm thinking about in mind that I'm going to play close to the vest right now, because when I thought about it, I identified a way that not only could I address the weakness, if done right, it could become a strength, another uh, layer of something we could hang on for competitive advantage. Competitive advantage is when you differentiate yourself from your competition and you have something unique so that you don't have to compete solely on price. So what's different about you? So that's the point of analyzing this, guys. Substitute goods examples. We, we talked about a couple. I gave you a few Think about your business. Who are your direct competitors? Consider your indirect ones too, the ones that you know you may not be thinking about that not normally like um, Coke and Pepsi. Okay, what about water? All right, water is a, a substitute product for Coke. It satisfies a similar need. Think about your business. Why might someone go to the substitute? Are there some things that you could do with a little bit of work that could uh, minimize the number of uh, people that are leaving. So again, this has just been a brief take on substitute goods examples. My name is Dale Meyer with Vision Advance. Please thumbs up, like the video, share it with someone who needs it.
uh, back at your service. Been a while, but uh, I'll, I'm going to start giving you like three a week. And this is number one. Y'all take care. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.